Well, I saw you posted something she wrote to you on your birthday saying like, oh, happy yeah. birthday, my favorite daughter. I was like, <gasps> she has favorites. <laughs> it's not me, but it was in that moment. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, thanks for coming. I love it that we both like the same sort of food. Wait, do, are you vegan? Predominantly. This is one of my favorite restaurants, Crossroads, which is all vegan. I haven't tried all of these things, so yeah, we're, we're trying things for the first time. Mm -hmm. Well, what is this supposed to be? I have no idea. So good. <laughs> the best thing. I love it. I was just dipping it right into the sauce. I should probably. Uh, honestly, I eat exactly <laughs> like you. Like I will use my fingers and dip right into the sauce. My husband has really great table manners. Actually, the first time I met him, I had a bite of food off his plate. And he was like, oh, hello. Is that how you met? Yeah, so we met in New York um, at the MoMA. In 2014, it was an event for Louis Vuitton, and he was sat next to me. Just like you were was, seated together? We were seated next event. to each other, yeah. And uh, he was sitting on my right, and on my left, Glenda Bailey was sitting next to me. And she said, oh my goodness, you guys are going to get married. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Like, I'd been separated from Orlando for a year. That was the last thing in my mind. And I was like, what? Did you tell her? I mean, she obviously knows she that knows. you're not married. I remember when he proposed to me, she was one of the first people I told. I was like, oh my God, you were right. Like, that is crazy. It's crazy. Okay, okay, am I getting you? What are we trying? Let's, are we trying pasta? Did you try the pizza? I did. Okay. It's yummy. Did you try it? I'm going to have a try now. Do you eat, you eat pizza with a fork and knife? <laughs> I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay, I should be using a different plate now, right? I don't know. I don't know what's like the rules on the plates either. We I need just, Evan. I just switched when I felt like it was time. <laughs> oh, well we met over food as well. We did. We met, we had dinner, our girls' dinner at Nobu. Nobu, yeah. And I remember we took a selfie in the bathroom. Yeah. The four of us. Yeah. And then we just like started talking on our own. Yeah, exactly. Because we have a similar interest. And like, like yes, in health and things. wellness, yeah. like clean beauty mm -hmm. and clean eating and fitness. Fitness. We did Pilates, Pilates. together. Mm -hmm. I want to try the pasta. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, tell me if you want more. Thank you. Next time, actually, I'm gonna have you over to my house because I actually love to cook. You do. I love to cook. So I don't love to cook. I know you told me but that. But I would like to cook more. Oh, I can teach you. It's pretty easy. I would easy. love to. My grandma taught me how to cook. Really? She taught me about health and wellness. Yeah. So at, like at a young age? Like 13. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I got into it. I didn't know anything really about health and wellness. I mean, I, I did work out. And mm -hmm. starting like in high school, yeah. my, Kim and I used to work out. What kind of workouts did you do? Do you know what Billy Blanks is, Tybo? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We were the DVDs? obsessed. Yeah, but we, so the class was here yeah. in L.A. So I did we, the DVDs. I made my grandma do one with me. No way. Mm -hmm. It's whoa, whoa. the best workout. It's really like, good. Especially for, like, your obliques and your yeah. abs. I need to get back on that. And we would do back-to-back -back classes, like two classes in a row. I felt like through college I would work out and try to eat healthy. I just didn't really know what it meant. Like, I remember it was like so many trends like Atkins diet mm -hmm. and like so many different things but when I had Mason I remember Nicole Richie was like you have to read this book it was called Super Baby Food did you mm -hmm. have that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so like when I read that it was all about like organic mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables and like really giving them like no processed foods mm -hmm. and everything from the everything earth. fresh mm -hmm. yeah so it kind of like snowballed. And I, I think my journey was so much a part of our show from like me learning about organic stuff. Mm -hmm. I used to go to my sister's refrigerators and clean them out. And like everyone thought I was crazy. Mm -hmm. And I would clean out their pantries and, and be say, like, they, cause none of us grew up that way. Like, So wait, how long have you been eating vegan? For health how reasons or? I don't know. Honestly, I just <laughs> decided to Made do it. I mean, it's definitely better for mm -hmm. our planet. Definitely. 
My blood type, I'm A positive. Me too. You are? I'm A positive. We're like twins. We basically are. <laughs> <laughs> um, but my blood type is A positive, so... It's better for us. It's better not to have red meat. Mm -hmm. I have... First thing in the morning, celery juice, 32 ounces. Oh my gosh. Sometimes before that I'll have lemon water, um, but that's about it. Do you notice like benefits from it? Oh yeah, energy, digestion, vitality, I love it. Oh, I think I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. Even Evan has it. And the really? boys. Yeah, Flynn's been pretty good. I mean, sometimes he's like, oh, really mom? I'm like, yes. Do you like your parent at all? I feel like I have so many similarities to my mom mm -hmm. and I feel like all my sisters like we all kind of do like we have just so many similarities between us but then we're all so different well, I saw you posted something um, she wrote to you on your birthday saying like oh, happy yeah. birthday my favorite daughter I was like oh, what did the other ones no, think? She said, <gasps> first, it was so funny because she said the best day or you changed oh, this that's day right. changed my heart forever so then because I go what time was I born you know those random things that yeah. people send you to fill out yeah like for astrology stuff yeah. uh -huh. so I was like mom I need my birth time and then when I posted it Chloe wrote me back she's like I've been asking mom my birth time for years and I've never gotten a response <laughs> and um so we we just like always joke that she has favorites <laughs> It's not me, but it was in that moment. <laughs> and so I decided to take it and post you're, it. You're like, okay, I'm going to run with this. What about you? I have my dad's sense of humor. And we have like the similar heart, similar to my grandma. So that was his mother. And Is that your grandma who just passed away? Yeah. Both my grandparents passed away within 20 days of each other. No way. Yeah, they were very in love. And um, my grandpa used to kiss my grandma's finger every morning. Every one of her fingers and say, like, thank God that we have each other. That is the cutest thing. Yeah. I'm just thinking about that pizza. You want more? I feel like the middle one looks yummy, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, it does, actually. Thank you. Do you let your kids have social media? Evan is very strict about screen time because mm -hmm. he grew up without a TV. Mm -hmm. And his mom said to him, because he was <clears> like, Mom, I want a computer, when he was like, older, like in like a late teen or something, or mid-teens, and she said, well, if you want a computer, then you have to make it. So he made no a computer. We definitely have, like, our limits, like our mm. times of stuff, and I've noticed different kids react differently mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Like, Mason started some secret, like, accounts during quarantine, like TikTok and... Instagram and those were quickly shut down. Yeah, it's one thing to communicate with your friends with roadblocks, right? Mm -hmm. Or like chat with them, whatever, but it's a whole different thing to be on social media and I really do feel like he should be 18 and then mm -hmm. he can decide what he wants to do. Or what you want to share. Even what he wants to share. Because <clears throat> that is true, like what kids share today, yeah. it's... And it's out there forever. It's there forever. Yeah. yeah. I felt like quarantine was a big lesson too because I felt like it was hard for kids. Did you feel that way? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, my kids, like I loved it because yeah. I loved being home and being with them and not feeling guilty or feel like I was missing out. Like it was a good time for like bonding, but then I felt like for their social interaction, it was really hard for them. Yeah. Mom guilt is real. Mm -hmm. The mom I guilt is real. It's so real and it never goes away. No. Even when I'm in therapy, I'll talk about like parenting advice yeah. too with yeah. my therapist, which I feel like is so helpful sometimes when just to get a second opinion. Talking is healing for sure. That's something I learned from a young age. Like, yeah, I like I'm big on therapy, mm -hmm. so I'll do like a weekly therapy, even if I feel like nothing's going on. It's just I good to like, check in. Yeah. yeah, that's sometimes. I feel like the moments when you have like deeper realizations or yeah, like take that pause to check in. So what do you do for mental health? Like for your own? I've actually recently been doing the Wim Hof breathing technique. What is that? Oh, is that the thing you told me about? It's like you do a series of breaths and you they guide you through it. So it's like a little app, the Wim oh, okay. Hof method. 
of like breathing and it just floods your body with oxygen and it really? helps supposedly with like mental health and physical health and energy and stamina and endurance do you do that with your kids no but flynn does meditate how do you balance being a mom and working yeah it's something i'm constantly working on like my kids don't wake up until around 6:30, 7, and so I have between you know 5:30 to 6:30. I do my workout mm -hmm. and you know get myself all ready before they wake up, because otherwise I feel like too guilty to leave them to go and do a workout. Because mm -hmm. I think that it's important for them to see that work is a part of life. And my mom and dad were both busy working parents, mm -hmm. and that taught me the importance of work ethic. And that taught me a lot, but then she was so busy, she wasn't able to be there for like, you know, special things that the school had on. Mm -hmm. So I'm very sensitive to that and I make sure that I'm like always there whenever at the, school, at the school things, when Flynn needs me to be there. I'm the same way. And the only way I remember when I first had Mason, I only didn't feel guilty when I was working. Mm -hmm. And it's hard still, even like seeing friends, unless friends come over to my house mm -hmm. and they're there with my kids. Like I just, I want to be with my kids if I'm not working. Yeah. Including my kids in my self-care is really helpful because as a mom, like I just feel guilty if I was like, guys, I'm going to close my door and yeah. I'm going to get a massage, yes, you know? <laughs> But my kids actually, like, they love getting massages too. So yeah. I, we put on a good movie. Yeah. We all go in my bedroom, turn on the fireplace, like, and take turns getting massages. Like, Penelope and North love to get their nails done. So, so even my boys will get their nails done. So yeah. it just makes it, like, nice family time together instead of just me feeling guilty and going and doing it on my own. Yeah. When I take the kids for a walk, it's the best. I put the two yeah. little ones in a pram and Flint's with me and Evan and we just all go on like a go family on a walk, walk and they love it. We did that on my birthday. Yeah. I was like, you guys have no choice. We're, We're all, all going on a walk. <laughs> going on a walk. It's my birthday. And of course it was like the one day that it was so windy and <laughs> dust was flying like in all of our eyes. We had to stop after like two minutes. Oh, it's good to be able to incorporate them into that as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We're the same again. Again, twinning. God, we are so twinning. This was delicious. So delicious. I'm so excited that Thank we tried you. it. Thank you so much for having me. And Thank you for coming. And enjoying this delicious meal together. I know. I can't wait to come to your house and yes. learn how to cook. And then I'll be back here for Pilates too. Yes, so. we have to do and it. And that facial again. Like because. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Miranda Kerr. And I'm Courtney Kardashian. To watch more Vogue videos, subscribe here.